One of the weird skills that I have or inclinations is to come up with acronyms <laughs> that help to remind me of various values, uh, principles, um, you know, virtues that I want to live by or that's helpful for a particular situation. And I try to also use um, as many moments of my life as possible uh, to bring a spiritual perspective or to uh, see how it contributes to spiritual growth. Um, hence the idea of a life monastery, you know, the life itself being like a personal monastery program that you could design for yourself. So as I uh, was putting on my contact lenses in the morning, um, you know, I, I thought about that, that, that verse in the Bible that says, you know, put on, you know, um, I think it was the Apostle Paul who said, uh, you know, as, 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 as he was like putting on clothes in the morning, it's like, I'm, I'm imagining myself putting on the armor of God and putting on the, you know, like the various pieces of clothing. It's like some, you know, the, the, um, I, I forgot the gloves of courage, the, <laughs> the vest of integrity or whatever. I mean, it, um, it's just the idea that turning a like a personal routine into a spiritual practice uh, into a, a embodied um, exercise for perspective essentially and so i came up with this um you know i came up with this thing where if i'm putting on my contact lens i'm like how can i see more spiritually today in in as many situations as possible and so i always begin with gratitude i don't know why i because it's been um the most the the, the easiest doorway that i've discovered into um, a spiritual way of being for me is is through gratitude and so i think of it as a as a gratitude lens i'm like how can i see today with more gratitude and then I started thinking, well, what does LENS stand for, L-E-N-S? And so naturally, my mind started working on that. And uh, so I want to share with you what I've got thus far. And I, I welcome you to uh, comment below to see if any of this resonates with you. Uh, maybe it'll inspire you to, um, as you do your morning routine, to see if you can bring some kind of spiritual perspective uh, to that exercise, um, to that ne the necessary uh, daily you know, ritual, right, of doing your morning hygiene or morning routine. Okay, so gratitude, as I've already mentioned, that's pretty clear what that what that means. It, you know, gr grateful for, um, well, for life itself, for the opportunity to live this life. Uh, grateful that I, I even remember gratitude, uh, that I even re remember or have the impulse to be grateful. You know, I could also say grace, the grace of God, of the universe, of my higher self, giving me the impulse, um, the intuition to, to give thanks and to uh, try to find a more uplifting perspective. Okay, so what does LENS stand for then? As I'm putting on my contact lens, I'm thinking, what does L-E-N-S stand for? So L, I said, well, one of the things I most love about um, this life and what has been given to us in terms of the security of our soul is that we can therefore take everything lightly. So lightness is what to me L will stand for, lightness. Like how can I go through today with the remembrance of the lightness of all of this? Um, because otherwise, well, life is very heavy. Um, we are in the, our souls are light, but we are, our souls are embodied here in a very heavy body, very dense experience. Um, there's a lot of struggle. There's a lot of physical struggle, emotional struggle, mental struggle, all of it's very dense. And so the, the natural experience is gravity, <laughs> right? We're being pulled to this earth to experience gravity not just physically, but emotionally, spiritually, etc. And if we were to only give way to gravity, what happens? 
we are completely just laying flat on the flat on the ground. That's that's the natural occurrence of gravity. We're laying flat on, but we have to get ourselves up to do things to benefit ourselves and benefit others, to survive, to thrive, to expand, to grow, to learn, to experience. And so, for me, I not only is there gravity that pulls us down, but I imagine there is a force that's pulling us up as well you know there's a force that's pulling us up so lightness it brings us lightness you know the opposite of gravity and that's a nice dynamic because yes daily life living <clears throat> circumstances will bring us down again and again and again throughout the whole day throughout the week but then there's the other force of light right the force of light that that lifts us up and uh, brings us remembrance of, you know what, it's okay. Somehow, magically, it's all going to work out. And with that reminder, we can be, we could take things lightly again. We can look at struggles and difficulties in our life with hopefully a bit more perspective of, oh well, I'm, I'm, well let, let's go on in the out in the in the acronym. Okay, so. Um, L is lightness, E is eternality, is how, what I like to reflect on. The eternal nature of our soul and of God or of the whole of a consciousness, okay? Eternality is the, is the um, state of eternalness, <laughs> right? And that helps to bring me lightness because I'm like, oh, well, this is not the only life. Am I, again, I'm sharing with you my spiritual worldview and you could take this however you want to interpret it, okay? Um, but eternality is, it goes on. It goes on forever. And there will be another way of thinking about it is there are unlimited opportunities. There are unlimited, there is no end to the opportunities that I have, that you have, that all of us have, for growth, for experiencing love, for experiencing fun, for creative experimentation, for learning to be wise, for uh, making mistakes. There are no, there's no limit to the opportunities that we are given, the chances we are given, eternality. Um, so that way I don't have to be downtrodden when I make a mistake, when I fail, so-called fail, when I have been intending to, you know, be a certain, embody a certain virtue or value and I completely botched it. I did, did the opposite. <laughs> Unlimited opportunities. I, I, I can try again and again and again and again forever and the eternality also means well my my body is going to expire <laughs> for sure but my soul will not and my soul will take a not take on another body or you know if it wants to or whatever it is more opportunities for growth and for love and creativity and lightness uh, and for connection and for understanding forever and ever greater and greater understanding wisdom love creative power and gratitude eternality definitely gives me lightness definitely gives me gratitude okay, so what does n stand for so l stands for lightness e stands for eternality n stands for well i'm actually open to your feedback on this because originally i said n stands for neutrality the reminder of uh the, the dao farmer who uh different things happen to this dao daoist farmer and uh, he just says, we'll see, you know, people around him is like, oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. He says, we'll see. And the next day something else happens that turned around the previous situation. And everyone's like, oh, my God, such, such fortune you have. And he says, we'll see. <laughs> so neutrality was the original principle I was playing with. But now I'm like, yeah, it's not inspiring enough for me. So maybe something like nourishment, like every situation brings nourishment. Every situation has the opportunity to bring nourishment to our souls, good or bad, you know? So nourishment might be one. But then I also think of the word nexus, 
nexus is also very inspiring to me, which is the idea that every moment is a choice. Every moment is a nexus. I can go this way. I can go that way. I can service to self, service to others. I can um, go on an upward path towards God, towards consciousness, towards well-being, or go on a downwards path towards addiction, towards um, wallowing, towards, um, you know, past conditioning. Nexus. Every moment is a nexus. So that's the one I'm playing with right now. And finally, S, you know, S stands for safe. Well, originally the idea, the, the word was stage. But then I added the word safe stage. So S stands for safe stage. Safe stage, what does that mean? Safe stage for what? Life is a stage. Life is a play. Life is a game. Life, to me, life is a, like I'm performing for all the soul team and the soul mates who are watching me play this game called life. I, they're, they're like, wow, you are so brave. You too, by the way, you are so brave to come into this life, to embody yourself in such a heavy, dense place. Your light, the lightness and power of your soul collapsed into this body, this frail body. You are so brave. And you are here performing for the thousands or maybe billions of souls who are watching right now play this game called life, this game called earth, earth life. And it's a safe stage because we go on. The body will, will die away, but the soul will go on and, and uh, nothing, nothing, nothing can damage the soul. It doesn't matter what kind of trauma, what kind of dramatic, physical, mental, emotional abuse that we get, some accidents that completely mangle up the body and, or, or destroy our loved ones. or No trauma will leave a scar on the soul that cannot be healed. From what I understand, again, take this how you will, interpret this into your own worldview and how you might use this as nourishment. We will have trauma. We, we have had trauma. And when we, when we die, we get to the other side and there are hospitals, so-called hospitals, on the other side to help us recover from that trauma, to remember again the wholeness of the soul. That nothing, nothing actually happened. We just went to a very scary game. We played a very scary game where we like fell into cliff you know we jumped off the cliff and fell into fell on top of spikes you know uh, we we ate a poisonous mushroom and uh, we got burned by the dragon whatever we played this game that had a lot of scary monsters and we got you know we got died many deaths in this game but then we got healed again we became we become whole again we realized oh that was a game wow wow it was a lot of experiences yeah it was a lot of tough experiences but nothing actually scarred us nothing will damage your soul. Nothing. None of the, nothing that happens to you and nothing that you do. All the mistakes, all the evil that you may have done, all the sin, so-called, that you may have done, all the, all the failure, all the things that you, you wish you didn't do, nothing will damage your soul. It is a completely safe stage for performance. Performance, in a, it's really for, for personal growth. A safe stage to also give love, to receive love. A safe stage to remember that giving love is not a transactional economic thing where it's like, well, I only have so much to give. That's it. I'm done. But a safe stage to practice receiving divine love available at all moments to fill us back up again so we can give more love. Now, of course, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard, right? The, the denseness of this life makes us think, you know, I've given enough love today. <laughs> it's only been 7.30 a.m. and I've already given enough love. I'm, I'm done for the day. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm done. Now I'm all, all about receiving love now, right? A safe stage for that. A safe stage for all of it. So that's what I'm playing with. Gratitude lens. Lightness. Eternality. Nexus choices and safe stage. And all of it brings me gratitude. <laughs> Back to gratitude, the gratitude lens, how I see life and, and the opportunities to make choices that bring more love to, to the world, give more love to others, 
give more love to myself, give more love to life, to animals, to plants, to situations. Well, that's that's crazy, crazy old me, uh, loving acronyms and and but I find it inspiring and helpful. You know, it's like I I put on my contact lens every day. I might as well use that exercise as some kind of reminder system for what this is all about. So thank you for listening, watching. Um, appreciate your support, and uh, I look forward to seeing if any of this resonates with you. If you have any your own acronym or anything else you want to share below, I welcome that. Thanks.